Hi, my name is Lance Chatfield. I'm the Executive of Technical Innovation at City College Plymouth. Here today to talk about higher technical qualifications and how they link to our strategic action in maritime, manufacturing, construction and the built environment. We're really excited to be delivering this qualification as it links with the industries around us and in particular the growth in, in this area. City College Plymouth has a history of delivering higher technical courses and we are excited to be involved in the higher technical qualification programme. All of our qualifications are delivered in conjunction with our employers in the city and as we are a city which is surrounded by the sea, we obviously focus on the maritime sector, but we also have a massive growth on the construction industry as well as the manufacturing industry. Hi, I'm Dan Bernard and I am Module Leader for City College Plymouth across construction and civil engineering provision, including HNC and higher technicals. All of our qualifications are awarded by the University of Plymouth. My own career has seen me gain many years of industry experience, right through from trades up through to operations management, and this is something that we try and embed in every one of our lessons, that industry experience that is fundamental to make sure our learners are ready for work. Our delivery team is small and we work in a really diverse environment where we've got people with anything from five up to 50 years industry experience. That sharing of experience allows us to best equip our learners for the workplace. Across our provision, we deliver to a number of learners from 18 years old, all up to people who are changing careers later in life. We encompass all age groups within our study programmes. Our study programmes have been developed with local, regional and national employers to make sure that all the information that they're being taught is up to date and relevant to industry standards. Our modules include domestic construction, environmental building science, construction materials, ICT and design, management and contract procedures. Our lessons are small group-based activities which consist of lectures and presentations and are supported by site visits, industry tours as well as guest lectures that come into the classroom. All of our curriculum and lessons are well planned and sequenced to ensure that when our learners reach the end of their courses they are absolutely ready for the workplace and employment. Today we're going to look at two practical activities which our learners take part in within their study programmes to look at the performance of existing buildings. The first thing we're going to look at is the use of drones within surveys to understand how buildings are performing and understanding maybe where things can be improved. The use of drone technology has been really fundamental in building surveying from a health and safety perspective, allowing us to look at buildings and understand from a feasibility perspective what's wrong and what needs to be improved. Once an initial survey has been carried out, we can then look at using different types of technology which allow for a more fundamental approach and more in-depth detail to be obtained. The second practical we're going to take part in today is using thermal imaging cameras. Once we've identified defects within buildings, we're able to go in, break the construction down using technology such as thermal imaging to see where there are defects and where improvements need to be made. So before we begin our practical today, the first thing the learners have to do is make sure they undertake their Civil Aviation Authority exam to make sure they're qualified to fly the drone. Once each of the learners have conducted their exam and they have a flyer ID, they're able to operate the drone outside. This is an industry standard requirement and we have to make sure it's completed from a health and safety perspective. When the learners have got their flyer IDs, we're going to take the drone equipment outside, we're going to get it set up and we're going to allow the learners to start to take off the equipment and understand how it works. Once the learners are familiar with the controls and understand the fundamentals of using the drone, they will be able to undertake building surveys, which is industry standard, using the drone equipment. The second practical activity today will be quite often led on in industry with things like thermal imaging. This allows us to look at defects within a building without maybe taking the building apart. We're able to look through walls and see what's hidden behind. The learners are going to become familiar with using the thermal imaging equipment, being able to turn it on, see key colours and identify the differences between different materials. Quite often in industry, the use of thermal imaging cameras will follow the use of a drone survey so we can understand the fundamentals and then we can do more in-depth detailed studies. Within our study programmes, we believe in learning by doing. There's no point in just sitting at a computer learning these things. It's all about learning new skills. The learners start with the fundamentals and the ground stuff, the knowledge, the health and safety, and then we build up giving them the opportunity to use the industry standard equipment that we use at college and they're going to use in their employment. 